have the body. Um, my name is Mtwana Wabantu. Um, look, if you face time, make sure you leave a comment. It's very, very important because uh, when you leave a comment, uh, then I know there's a presence of my beautiful family here for watching my videos so I can continue to make this type of video, okay? And apart from that, uh, do please visit my Instagram. Follow me, Mtwana underscore Wabantu. Mtwana underscore Wabantu. Even on Twitter, it's Mtwana Wabantu. My Facebook and all the information, my Twitter and Instagram is under the uh, under the link below. If you can check under the link below. Also, I have a feeding program where I feed the homeless and, you know, give back with the little that I have. So, you know, people can stand with their own two feet and they can support themselves and uh, support a family because if so, that's what I'm, what I'm doing. So you can visit the, uh, the link, see the link below. You see, you're going you want to see what we do for that community, what we do for the community's fire brother system so that we can reduce the crime, reduce the crime and equip them with the knowledge, special coding skills, software skills like Microsoft, uh, PowerPoint, programming, so people that can be independent, employ themselves and help themselves and help the family. So also, this can reduce crimes too and it can increase employment. That's why I decided to come with this program. So please visit the link below you see what we do now let's get to the business so the question the first question say here even if it's not written here on top but the first question they wanted to know which is the linear here we want to determine which is the linear so hey i think you understand when you say something linear for example it means it has to be in this form like a x plus b y plus say let's say c z equal to zero something like that in that format you know necessarily must be exactly like that but in that format but if it's like this, let's say, this is not linear because there's a square. So all these x, y, z, they should not have a square for the question to be linear. So I want to see among this, which is the linear. Now, let me start with the case. One. But hey, if you can look this careful, right? That's a number because e power something, you can plug in a calculator, it's going to give a number because they say here e is 2.71. So if you say 2.71 uh, A to 80 point square root of 2, if you put in a calculator, it's going to give you actual number. So, but the problem, so this is going to be linear because we're going to have a one number, Y. Because if you put all these calculators, it's going to give a certain number, okay? Uh, I don't have a calculator with me. Oh, it's here. So if you plug in the calculator, I'm going to put in the calculator. Uh, 2.71, 0.71, 0 .71, 0 .72, and then, uh oh, excuse me. 2 point, we're going to shift E and then power square root negative square root of 2. And this is going to give us 0 0.24, 0 0.243, whatever. So, means all this stuff here is a number. So, in other words, we can say, so this is yes, even the last one is yes. So, the problem is the face one because the face one is the one which makes everything disqualified to be not linear equation. Because, look, if you say negative x, negative 1, what does that mean? It's negative 1. If you reciprocate okay, this, it's going to go to the bottom. It's going to become 1 over x. So this is not linear. It has messed up everything. Because linear must be something with a x plus in a linear way. So it's already a negative 1 over x. So this is not linear because of this stuff here. You see what I'm saying? Because of that. Because you might say, oh, what about the last one? The last one is it make it linear because I can take it back. So the problem, if you have to rearrange, it's going to be like this. Look, negative 1 over x. And this is going to be 2 point. If you put in the calculator, e power negative 2 power uh, square root over 2, it's going to give us uh, two, 0 0.24. 0 0.24, but it has a y. And then I can bring back this. It's going to be negative 3z equal to 0. But it's not linear. It's not linear because of, because of this one. So it's not linear. Let's go for the second one. But hey, look. In math, if you say long of e okay, power x look in mathematica you can just say this is equal to x because you know what you take it to the back it means equal to x ln of e and ln of e will not equal to one so it means equal to x so in other words somebody give me ln of e power anything let's say a you can simply say this is equal to a if somebody give me ln let's say uh like that one e power negative one over z what does that mean this is like saying negative one over z you know why because you know this is going to go to the back it's going to be negative one over z and then ln of e but what is the ln of e ln of e equal to one like negative one over 
to z times 1 equal to negative 1 over z. So for that case, this is negative 1 over z. You see what I'm saying? Negative 1 over z. So we want to know which is going to be linear. So already is the problem because if you have a negative 1 over z, it means then it cannot be linear. Okay? So I don't have to continue and do the race because that has already this proof that it's not linear. Because look, it's going to be 2 pi. You know 2 pi is like, say, 2 times 3.14 because that's pi, which is going to be 6.28. 6 so it's going to be 6. 2 pi means the number. But the problem is going to be negative 1 over z. So it's a problem. So even if the other one is going to be obeying, but that one already has messed up everything, so this cannot be linear. Okay, let's just do for funny. But I will know this is not linear. Because this can be negative 2 y, negative 2 y here. This make part of, that only make part of linear. Plus z here, z is just a number. And this is just a number. And this x, we can take it back. And it's going to become, it's going to become positive x. And this number is going to become negative 1 over 3. But the problem is this one. This makes up everything. So it, no matter how much we group or is no one make no sense because it's not linear. Okay. Let's go for the third one. The third one is the linear. You know why? Because if you square root y, what you're going to get? You're going to get y. And this could be 4y. y plus 4y is going to be 5y. Minus, minus. Okay. Uh, x, this positive, 7x. I can take it back. It's going to be negative. Oh, let me do this one. So I can take this back. It's going to be uh, negative 7x. Because this could come back. I want to arrange it in the form of a x squared plus, oh, so sorry, there's no square for linear, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For linear, it has to be ax plus bx plus c equal to 0. That's a linearity. Excuse me. So if I take this to the back, it's going to be negative 7x, and then y, y is going to be 5y, because this and this going to cancel to y plus 4y equal to 5y plus y plus 5. Why, what about z? z is just a 2. z. You see here, there's nothing at the bottom. There's no power of y, no power, or no other bottom. So this is linear. But if it was, let's say, negative 7 over x minus 5y or plus 5y, it does not matter. Minus 2 z equals 0. This is not linear because it's over at the denominator. It's not linear. So we already know our option is option number 3. But let's check number 4 and then we can compare. Maybe, who knows? Maybe you might have mistaken. And they say, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. You know, sometimes it happens. You do something, they say, oh, wait, 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 wait. It's supposed to be like this. You know what I'm saying? So then, let's go about that. So, okay, now, so it's not so. So now we go. So this is the linear. Now, we want to go for the last one. Is that the last one linear? It's not. You know why? Because everything is fine except here. Because this is going to be 7 over x squared. So it has messed up everything. So no matter the other one, for example, this and this is going to give us 5y. No, this 5y. 5y. Okay. Now, minus 2z. Minus 2z. But the problem is this one, because this is going to be minus 7 over x squared equal to 0. And this is not linear, because he, he, has, he cannot be linear, because it's 1 over algebra. It has been this form 3x plus 3y plus c. So that cannot be linear. But for the second question here, let's say uh, we have to determine the one which is not linear now. It's fun, man. I like this. So now for here, we have to determine which is not linear now. Which of the following is non linear equation? Non linear equation. I don't want to make that a long video, so I'm trying to make a short video. So in 15 minutes, I'll have to stop. And then I'm going to break it and then I'll make another video. So let me go quicker. Which one is non linear? Excuse me, sorry. So this is linear here, because you can see, okay, these two give us negative 6y. So x, we don't have anything, we're going to say 0x. And then for y, is going to be negative 6y. Uh, and for that, is this negative z equal to 0. So yes, because look, isn't it? In a format of ax plus y plus c, z. So this is linear. Now let's go for the second one. Excuse me. For the second one also, uh, the chance uh, is also linear. You know why? Because all this stuff here, like I say, look, somebody give you here, look, long e uh, to z. But at this one, I can take to the back. If you take to the back, what you're going to get? To z, long of e. But if you can plug in a calculator, long of e, you get equal to 1. Plug in a calculator, you see, long of e equal to 1. 
make sure you always shift your E. If you don't know, you shift your E. You say you go to calculator, you shift, and they go to the E, and then the power right to one. So it's me. Then they say long, long, and then go to your calculator, and then shift. When you shift, it's going to give you E, and then here it's going to be popping up. When you pop up right to one, and then you're going to get eight point something, something, something. So it's all. So that we say means if somebody give you loan of e to z means to z is going to go to the back loan of e but what is loan of e loan of e equal to one oh, no, no, I'm wrong here. I'm wrong here. means loan of e loan of e together equal to one but e alone equal to two point seven 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 whatever whatever, whatever. This one here. Okay. so meaning now let's come back here to the pen now don't jump in around all over the place so this is going to be pi and then we know a uh, loan of e to z means to z is going to go to the back and then loan of e equal to one means like two z loan of e loan of e equal to one so two z times one equal to z so for that case it's going to be pi times two z so i can say times two and then let me put z here that makes sense because they always good to write number and then z now let's go for a second one second one is equal to a half a half is like 0 0.5 then we have a y what is loan of e power three if you put this all this in the calculator it's going to give a number actual number put in the calculator let's go for your calculator it's going to give you actual number loan of e power three is going to give a number so we're going to take that number in the back it's going to be minus that number which you don't know for now or you can plug in the calculator okay, let me plug and then wait also you can plug in your own time and then you say loan of shift e power power three close my bracket sorry Three, the answer go to three. But hey, I was silly a little bit because this is three. Look, look, long of e power three. But I will say this is gonna go to the back and say three long of e, but long of e equal to one. So three times one equal to three. So meaning here, all this stuff is gonna be three. Three we take to the back, minus three, and then x is gonna be plus because we're gonna take to the back equal to zero. If you rearrange, you start with the x, and it's gonna be x, y. What is the y? Y is 0 0.5 y and then uh z z is 2 pi you know 2 pi means 2 times 3.14 which is going to be 6.28 means it's going to be plus 6.2.280 what z and then equal to a number or you can write the number here equal to 3 or you can say minus 3 equal to 0 and this is in the linear form yes this is in the linear but we want the one which is not linear so the first linear second linear let's go for the third one, the third one is obvious linear it's obvious linear. You can see the x is one. There's no power here. There's no power in y. There's no power in z. It means everything is like x, y, z is in this format here. So yes, it's linear. Let's go to the last one. The last one is not because the problem is here. X, yes, x. Z, yes, because we can bring them. But the problem, we don't, we don't need x, y, no. So this is not linear. You see one thing? That's not linear. Now let's come to this question here. But I think I did this question, but I uh, just want to face uh, to redo and show you again. So because that face is just not showing here. So they say which of the following is the linear equation? So linear would say it has to be in the format of okay, a x plus b y plus z equal to zero. So if you look at the first question, is not because already this is a problem here. You know why? Because it's like saying negative uh, one because here's negative one over. Let's say reciprocate this. If the reciprocate is going to be x power 1. So that's already has messed up. It cannot be linear. Plus, plus. You can plug this in the calculator and get actual number. E power negative square root of 2, which is going to give you actual number. E power shift E and the power negative square root of 2. And this is going to give us 0 0.24. So meaning this is going to be 0 0.24. And then we have a y. And then this is going to be minus 3 z. Equal to zero, but it cannot be linear because of this illuminati there. That's illuminati cause all the problem. Okay, now let's come into the second one. The second one here, this is not linear too. You know why it's not linear? Because look, we got two pi, two pi is two pi means six point six point two eight because two two times pi three pi equal to three point one four. Two times three point five, six point two eight, six point two eighty. Okay, look, multiply. But if you have a loan e power negative one over z that means you take this to the back it's going to be negative one over z and then ln of e but ln of e equal to one so mean this is going to be equal to uh negative one over z times one equal to negative one over z so i can write here negative one over z times this is going to be negative one over 
vacant there. So it cannot be linear because this is already messed up. We don't have one over. It has to be AX, BX, and Z means must be on top, top, top. Not one over X. No, that's unacceptable. Now let's go for it. Third one. So this cannot be linear. And we say the face one also cannot be linear because of the same problem. Here this is a linear because when you square it y square means square and two cancel, means you let it y plus four y. Y plus four y equal to five. Y. Now we come here equal to negative two z. So negative two z negative two z and now uh now we go minus seven x. If you rearrange the list start to the x, if you start to the x, it's gonna be negative seven x. And then we go for y, it's going to be plus 5y. And then for z, it's going to be negative 2. Is z equal to 0. So this is a linear because in the form of ax, by, z, and plus z. Now let's go for the last one. The last one cannot be linear because here there's a problem. You know why there's a problem? Because if you raise pocket, it's going to be 7 over x squared. And we don't have a linear. Whatever you're going to add here, even if it's a linear, but this has messed up everything because you don't have a 7 over x squared. You don't call it linear. So with that being said, man, now let's go for the next one. Uh, I think this video is gonna be better longer, so I don't want to make it better long video. Let me just stop here for this, and then I will make it out of video and do the rest of the question, which is gonna be this one right here, and all the rest of the question, all of them. So stay tuned here so we can finish all the question. You want to see all the time? It's a lot of time, man. And like I say, if you have any query, please direct message me in Twana. Ubuntu at the gym of the car. If you need my service or if you want to call my service, feel free to email me. Mtwana Wabantu at the gym of the car. Mtwana Wabantu at the gym of the car. Go to my Facebook page, uh, to our YouTube, Mtwana. Also, under the link below, that's another YouTube channel where you see how we help a brother and sister, like homeless, you got nothing, you know, people under influence, let's say, drugs or violence, you know. I try to talk to them and talk to them as the brothers so we can do something positive and uh, reduce like something like a crime because if we equip them with the skills, let's say somebody here doing some criminal stuff, but when you cheat him, they, uh, they, 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 without judging him, uh, the knowledge of the soft skills like work with the computer and hey, maybe help him to take him to Syria and do his songs, whatever, so he can accomplish dream and they feel like, hey, he can do something else, not commit crimes, okay? or not do something negative, which have a negative impact for community. So go and check what we do for, for the homeless. We have a feeding program. We have a program, have the women and children. So for that, me say thanks a lot of your time, man. Peace, and I'm going to see you soon. Watch the next video. Peace.